Maybe he could start eating oysters. I've chosen to eat oysters. Hey everybody, how's it going? And welcome to the channel. Admittedly, yes, my last video was a bit silly. However, the reason for that is, as many of you know, the fires here in California have been really bad and the air pollution was making me very congested and a bit horsey, but I'm feeling a lot better today. And I do have quite a few things to discuss, so let's get to it. The first thing I want to discuss is vegan news. About six months ago, he made a video announcing that not only is he putting his cat on a vegan diet, but he is going to the vet regularly and looking at blood work. And so he did recently, I think a few days ago, gave us an update and I am happy to say that his cat is actually doing quite well. The reason why I want to discuss this is because pets, pet food, pet ownership, all this is a very highly controversial subject within veganism. Some people go as far as saying that all pets are unethical and then some people admittedly, like myself, don't exactly feel very comfortable putting an obligate carnivore onto a vegan diet. I did discuss a little bit in a video a while ago why I don't feel that a obligate carnivore should be on a vegan diet because, yeah, sure, there's a lot of anecdotal evidence saying, oh yeah, my vegan cat or dog is fine, but there, there's no actual solid evidence or blood work to prove that and this is exactly what vegan news is doing and to me one of the reasons why this is so controversial is because i think many people will agree that you don't shop you adopt and so as many of you know already the whole vegan gains thing and then more recently raw lyman did get a dog from a breeder and that's very no 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 a big pickle a lot of vegans, I feel like, kind of get into is they have this carnivore pet, but they feel very unethical feeding them meat, just as they feel very unethical feeding themselves meat. I fully recognize that, yes, the pet food industry is just as gross as our normal slaughterhouse industry. However, According to my research, no, there is no real solid evidence that cats and dogs are okay on a vegan diet. So my ethical dilemma here is do we take care do we take care of our pet and their needs or do we take the risk of putting them on a vegan diet? As little iffy as it is with vegan news here, I do very much respect him for actually, you know, doing regular checkups, getting blood work, and then actually posting all the blood work online. You know, I, I do think this guy has very good intentions, and let's face it, we're never gonna really know if we can put our cat or dog on a vegan diet, relative solid evidence like blood work. So the second thing I do want to discuss here, which I didn't really get a chance to talk about yesterday, is Tim Sheaf. I am once again happy to announce that he did give us a little update and it does look like he did take people's advice. He did receive the test kits from Goji Man as well as taking a few supplements. So, you know, that that is great. When I first found out that Tim Sheaf was eating animal products, you know, yes, I, I was very disappointed, but I was very sympathetic. However, I was giving the harsh critique of why in the world are you not going to a doctor or getting these tests done? So thank you, Tim Sheaf, but I am happy that he is taking these tests and at least getting a clue to see what's really going on with him. And again, it just, it really surprises me that a lot of people will suffer from health problems, but then not really do much about it. I am very happy that Tim is taking all these tests and a few supplements so he can start really feeling better here. So now is where it gets a little crazy. As many of you know, Unnatural Vegan did do a response to Tim Sheaf and she was like, yeah. Maybe he could start eating oysters? Maybe he should be eating oysters, but even worse, she's like, no, I don't think Tim Sheaf should be a vegan because he's an idiot. 
you know, maybe not everybody needs to be vegan. And to me, it's like, well, no wonder she thinks that. She doesn't seem to think that oysters are sentient and not important enough to really care about. So, oh, what do you know? Someone's too stupid for veganism and we shouldn't care about them. A natural vegan, how many times are we going to have to call you out, girl? What are you doing? What are you doing? And, well, it's one thing for a natural vegan to maybe say some stupid shit, but truly does not surprise me that Charles Marlowe, aka Lil Cheetah, I don't know why anyone over the age of 12 or 410 would call themselves Lil. There we go with the air quotes, but whatever, his name isn't really important here. It's, of course, he's agreeing with Unnatural Vegan. I think, if anything, Tim Sheaf needs to be consuming animal products. He's like, oh yeah, Tim Sheaf should be eating animal products, and as a vegan, I eat oysters. I've chosen to eat oysters. And you know what, Charles? Go for it. Vegan Gains ripped you a new one last year with your dumbbrella shit, so you know what, make the video. I genuinely look forward to everyone else tearing you a new asshole again. Hmm? Okay. I mean, seriously, what's gonna be vegan next? That giant gray horschlong that vegetable police was eating the other day? Ugh. But yes, oysters are sentient. It's not rocket science. It responds to my hand movements. That's because it's sensitive to light, and when my hand casts a shadow on it, the clam retracts to protect itself. Oysters do tend to close up and react when they see changes of light, when the tide is low. So yes, they do have these mechanisms to protect themselves. So if they're protecting themselves, that means they actually care about their safety and their own life. So yes, Oysters are sentient. Not only do I want to give a little shout out here to Abala Ciel and Foot Soldier, they did great videos on oysters or, and sentience, but another small channel I would like to give a little shout out to is Michelle Lowe, and she discussed this whole oyster thing as well. I, I subscribed to her about a month ago, and she's really been, you know, discussing this whole carnivore diet thing. You know, she's really been pumping out the videos and being consistent every day, and I've seen her channel already grow significantly, so as another smaller channel to another, I would like to give her the shout out, and hopefully more people will go and see her channel. Anyways, guys, I think that's all I have to say, but then of course, as I upload, I'm like, oh my god, I should have said this and that, blah, 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 but that's how it works and that's why we continue to make these videos. I do appreciate your comments. Let me know what you think, and until then, I hope you're well, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.